I was contemplating making this response video for a while now, and since many other YouTubers make response videos, I might as well give it a shot. Also, since the covered call strategy is a huge part of my personal portfolio and definitely my favorite income enhancing strategy, I figure I'd hit two birds with one stone and really reiterate the advantages that covered call ETFs have, as most people still have a negative view on them or simply don't understand how they work and their benefits. So I got multiple requests from viewers to share my opinion on a video that another YouTube channel did on covered call ETFs. The YouTube channel in question is Stock Trades, another Canadian finance uh, channel that talks about stocks. And the title of that video, which still makes me laugh every time I see it, is Why a Covered Call ETF Strategy is Killing Your Investment Returns. So essentially, what this guy does in the video is briefly explain how covered calls work and then compares three uh, BMO ETFs to one another so he compares the covered call ETF to the non-covered call equivalent uh, by analyzing the total return which uh, includes both dividends and capital appreciation after a certain amount of years by the way i do have quite a few videos and even a specific playlist uh, on the covered call strategy or covered call etfs uh, where i describe how they work so make sure to check those videos out or it might be hard to follow this one i'll put all the links uh, below to that playlist as well as the guy's video that i'm, I'm responding to so we'll start by analyzing the three comparisons that he does first, and then I'll give you my thoughts on what nobody ever seems to talk about, the underrated benefits of covered call ETFs, which goes well beyond total returns. All right, guys, so I want to quickly go over the uh, ETFs that he compares to one another, and then I'll, give, I'll show you the numbers and I'll give you my thoughts on them. So the first one, he compares ZWB, which is the BMO covered call uh, Canadian banks ETF. So it holds basically the big six Canadian banks. Um, as you could see here, this is the breakdown of the portfolio, and he compares... Uh, this ETF to um, ZEB, which pretty much holds the same thing, except there's no covered calls. It's the BMO Equal Weight Banks Index ETF, and you can see that they simply hold the six banks. And actually, this ETF is actually the biggest part, or uh, at 27%, in the covered call ETF. But essentially, uh, very simple, guys, both these ETFs hold the exact same thing, uh, the big six Canadian banks. So the um, the covered call one, uh, has a dividend yield of about 5.80%, which is really, really good. And the non-covered call one uh, obviously is going to have a much lower yield. And right now it's at 3.32%. The next comparison is, uh, sorry, this is the uh, the third one. So the next one is where he compa compares ZWU, which is the BMO Covered Call Utilities ETF, to the ZUT, or the BMO Equal Weight Utilities Index ETF. So the, uh, the non-covered call one has a uh, dividend yield of only 3.44, but the uh, the, the one that uses covered calls is at 7.59, so a big difference there. But the reason why I really don't like comparing these two, it's like comparing apples and oranges because ZUT uh, only has, um, you know, it says utilities. They both say, you know, equal weight utilities. This one says utilities, but ZUT actually only has utilities. They have nothing else. They don't even have the sector, but basically it's all the major utilities or the electricity generators in Canada. And you could see them all here, right? So you'll recognize a lot of them, Capital Power, Hydro One, Amera, Fortis, of course, Algonquin, Brookfield, etc., etc. But ZWU is completely different. It has much more than just uh, electricity companies. It actually has, like the description says, utilities, which is um, electricity telecom or communications and pipeline companies. So if you actually look at the holdings, it has a lot more than uh, what the other uh, ETF has. So it has, you know, things like Enbridge and TransCanada, which is TRP or TC Energy, uh, TELUS, Rogers, Bell. So you got the, the big three communication ones. Not only that, you know, there's got, there's Pembina Pipeline. There, there is, of course, some overlap. There are some utilities companies like Fortis, but there's also American utilities company like Duke Energy, Southern Co., Exelon, uh, PPL. And then, of course, you have the two big American 
um, telecommunication Verizon and AT&T. So this one um, has a lot more than just utilities in Canada. It has utilities, telecom and pipeline in Canada and the US. So I'm not sure why he compares this one to um, ZUT. It makes real, uh, it makes no sense to me, even though the names are the same. So the third comparison that he makes is ZWC, the BMO um, Canadian High Dividend Covered Call ETF, which is a collection of dividend stocks in Canada, to ZDV, the basically the non-covered call equivalent, the BMO Canadian Dividend ETF. So for this comparison here, ZDV uh, has a yield of 4.18, uh, whereas ZWC, of course, is covered call, so it's going to be higher at 7.26. So this comparison is valid. However, ZWC has about uh, 35 um, stocks and uh, you could see them here. They're basically all the classic Canadian dividend stocks. You know, the six banks are there, Enbridge, Bell, uh, Mara, uh, Fortis, etc., etc. I won't go through them all, but ZDV actually has... Uh, a lot more holdings. It's a little bit more diversified. It has about 50 stocks compared to 35. So um, it has a lot of the same ones, but it also has a couple of smaller, uh, lesser known, also good dividend stocks uh, like Magna, uh, Loblaws, uh, Intact, uh, Aliment, uh, Kushtar, basically, um, IGM. A financial which is investors group canadian tire so there's just a little bit more diversity uh in this one finning Inter international shaw is there canadian western bank so a little bit more diversification in zdv compared to zwc but the comparison is is kind of valid because it is comparing um, these two ETFs, which both hold top Canadian dividend stocks so now let's go into my points let's review uh, my thoughts on what i think of, of all this all right, so point number one, here are my responses, guys. Point number one, killing your returns, not so much. So I can't stand the fact that he put killing your returns in the title. I totally understand that he's trying to get people to click on his video. Uh, trust me, nobody understands that more than me. But to use the word killing seriously, the comparison between ZWB and ZEB, for example, he says that the your $10,000 investment will become $16,100 after five years for ZWB the covered call ETF and your 10 or and $10,000 will become 17,700 after 5 years for ZEB the non-covered call version for the comparison between ZDV and ZWC $10,000 becomes 11,000 uh, after 5 years for ZWC and 10,000 becomes 11,800 uh, after 5 years for the non-covered call version ZDV so um the other one, by the way, the utilities one, I'm definitely not comparing because it, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. Apples and oranges. So killing your returns, that's definitely not the right word I would use. But is the total return higher with the non-covered call ETF? Yes, it is. Point number two, covered call ETFs have a very specific purpose to provide high yield in a low interest rate environment. So we are currently living in a record low interest environment. This means that you can't just put your money in a savings account and get like 5% back in the days, like in the 60s or 70s or whenever it was 5% or even more. Uh, interest rates are at record low. So for investors who need income or income investors like myself, covered call ETFs can provide the income that we need. So yes, the holdings in the ETFs that were compared might have the same holdings, but their objective is completely different. One is for organic growth with the stock market, while the other is for higher income. So as a buy and hold, passive income investor, which is the easiest and simplest investor to be, in my opinion. You want high income because that's primarily how you make your money. It's not with share price appreciation since you don't sell anything, right? With the non-covered call ETFs, especially the big index ones like Vanguard or iShares, the majority, if not all your returns come from share price appreciation, not the income. So in order to make any money whatsoever, you do need to sell your shares. I'll discuss this in my next point in detail so the cover call ETFs are absolutely perfect for income focused investors since they have higher and consistent income with less risk that's just the cherry on top guys don't forget that the covered call strategy is a zero risk income enhancing strategy and since they outperform during a stock market crash it gives you additional peace of mind 
Point number three, very important, total returns are only total returns when you sell. So this is an important one, guys. I really want you to understand this, uh, especially for newer investors. In order to realize or make a reality those total returns he spoke about, you know, turning that 10K into 17K after five years or whatever the numbers were, to actually make it a reality, you need to sell your shares. Think about it. Unless you sell your shares, the total return is basically unrealized. It, the key word unreal, it's simply not real. It's just on paper. So um, if you do sell your shares to realize your total returns, what then? Do you reinvest it in something else? Also, when should you sell? Now, because the market is at an all-time high, what if you sell now and the market keeps going up and up and up? You'll be mad at yourself. Trust me, guys, I've been there, done that, and um, it's very, very annoying. These questions will drive you crazy, trust me. Covered call ETFs solve this problem entirely because the bulk of their returns comes from the passive income they generate and not the uh, capital appreciation. So this means you have much less motivation or incentive to actually sell your shares at any time, thus simplifying your life tremendously imagine just buying holding forever and collecting that super high income month after month after month without watching wondering thinking when to sell when not to sell just another advantage of being a passive income focused investor last but not least point number four covered call etfs shine during a bear market or a you know, stock market crash or a flat market. I say this all the time and I will continue to say it on this channel. Investing is not all about numbers or total returns. During a stock market crash or a correction, the emotional and mental toll that a stock market crash can have on somebody can be devastating. I use the word devastating. I don't use it lightly uh, because I've done over 100 consultations now and I know this is true for many people. Obviously, the more experience you have and as an, as an investor, the more resilient you are as time goes on. But the fact that covered call ETFs outperform, which simply means they perform better than the overall stock market, during a bear market is a huge advantage that nobody ever seems to talk about. This is your mental health, guys. Trust me, it's important for everyday people. Um, it's really easy to be an investor during a, a bull market. Um, that's really the easy part of investing. The hard part and real stress and challenge comes during a crash or volatility. Another thing to keep in mind uh, when the stock market is flat, sometimes called a sideways market where there's no significant trend, either up or down, covered call ETFs also outperform the overall market simply because those covered call options will likely not be exercised. So it's essentially free money uh, when the market is stagnant. So owning covered call ETFs instead of the equivalent non-covered call version can be the difference between getting anxious stressed out, losing sleep, possibly getting depressed, or staying cool, calm and collected, and sleeping like a baby. There's a reason why I always seem cool, calm, and collected uh, in my videos compared to other YouTubers who have similar content, including those stock trades, guys. Have you ever noticed that? The reason is I own covered call ETFs, not worrying about uh, future stock market crashes or what the stock market does in general. Uh, is a huge and uh, underrated benefit in my opinion. I repeat, investing, especially for us everyday people, is not just about the numbers. So there you have it, guys. Those are the key points I had. In summary, investing for uh, everyday people like us is not just about the numbers. It's much more than that. And owning cover called ETFs can make your life so much easier. I mean, it really can't get any more easier than just buying and holding, right? Now, I want to stress the point that I'm definitely not against the regular growth or dividend growth um, strategy. I mean, it's still the most, uh, they are still the most mainstream strategies for a reason. It's because they work, right? It, it, is it possible um, that owning the non-covered call ETFs will give you a bigger total return after 5, 10, 20, 30 years? Yes, of course they can. I admit this. And I've admitted it in previous videos as well. Not only is it possible, I would say, but it's probably likely, especially if the stock market just keeps going up and up and up. But that's history. We really don't know what the stock market is going to do. 
But what you get instead with the covered call strategy is ultimate peace of mind. You won't care about stock market crashes. You won't have to decide when to sell your shares. All you need to do is sit back and enjoy that easy, consistent, and high uh, passive income until the rest of your days. Life is short as it is. And the last thing I want to do is worry, watch, manage my investments. For me personally, it's definitely worth giving up some potentially higher total returns for that peace of mind, wouldn't you? As always, please support us. Please support this channel by hitting the like button, guys. I would really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. It's free for you, so it's a win-win. Also, make sure to visit our website, PassiveIncomeInvesting.ca. That's where you can buy my digital product, the Ultimate Dividend Passive Income Investing Package, which is all my years of research, put in uh, five spreadsheets, uh, all the stocks you ever need to build your own portfolio. It comes with lifetime updates, and it's great for Canadians and Americans as well. The second version has a lot of american uh, us uh, sorry us listed stocks in there and there's also four sample portfolios two for canadians and two for uh, americans on my website you could also book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me personally if ever you want me to review your portfolio or help you build a new one um, or what in all the answers you have I'll, I'll make sure to answer them as best i can to help you it's very easy to book an appointment, guys. It's right there on my website. But right now, I am completely booked until August. So I get a lot, a lot of emails and requ requests ask, uh, you know, asking me if I could squeeze people in before August. And the answer is no, I, I, I'm completely booked and I, I need time to actually make these videos. So stay tuned. I'll let you guys know as soon as the August calendar uh, opens up. So uh, appointments will be open shortly. Finally, make sure you're subscribed, guys, so you don't miss out on my future content, as well as my community posts, which include the surveys of the month where you, the viewer, can decide what I cover in my next, uh, my next video. So make sure you're subscribed to be able to vote. We're also on Instagram, uh, so follow us there if you use it. We have Facebook as well. Our Facebook group is growing. I think there's like 1,400 members now, but we have a little community there where you could ask all your questions and people reply. It's great. We've got our own little community there. So I really, really like it. Uh, our mission and the mission of this channel remains the same, guys. It's to help everyday people invest on their own in order to build their own stream of passive income so they can enhance their quality of life. So with that, take care, guys. Stay safe and see you next time.